Hello everyone, I'm Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how narcissists expect you to react to their toxic behavior. Please give the video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website, it is narcsurvivor.co.uk. How narcissists expect you to react to their toxic behavior. Narcissists are masters at creating chaos. They want an environment to look very disturbing because they feel that they gain some form of advantage if the environment is made to look more threatening. That attitude is very similar to what you might see in newspapers. It's 99% negative and pessimistic, where they shove things in your face and tell you it's dangerous, overwhelming and threatening, because they want to provoke fear in their targets. So they can turn the most calming and peaceful environments into the most chaotic and traumatic environment which then affects everyone who is around them. But it's as simple as breathing to a narcissist. They cannot live without toxic behavior because it's what they contain. So it's what they take with them wherever they go. It's what their internal world is made up of. So they want their external environment to be the same because then it provides them with a sense of security and stability. It makes them feel more at home and it prevents their own toxicity from swallowing them whole. They do not want to deal with their own shame and insecurities. So they have to create chaos and drama to experience a sense of elevation to where there are extreme fluctuations between feeling great and feeling depressed or sad so that it distracts them from their shame. And it is done at your expense. Because while chaos may be their sustenance, it doesn't do anything for you, which is why it doesn't uplift you. And instead it drains you because you have no interest in fighting, but they will always try to find something wrong because they need it. Which is why they will even bring up things that happened years ago because they cannot rest without having an excuse to disrupt you. They have an inability to regulate their own emotions, which is why they must feed off you. Because they are predators. They live by ruthlessly exploiting you. They want you to be at their mercy so that you will beg for their forgiveness and do more than what would usually be expected of you to fix them and to make things right, even while they are destabilizing you and they're causing you trouble and pain. But they're unable to see that because of their grandiose delusions. So in their minds, you're meant to please them and feed their ego. You're meant to sacrifice yourself for their personal benefit. They put you through chaos while they enjoy calmness and comfort because they feel relaxed by watching you suffer. So they will damage your property. They will yell and scream. They will strike you physically or psychologically. And then they will become uncom uncompromisingly inflexible to destroy the occasion until you are drained of your mental resources. And they will often do it on special occasions. But if you say anything that exposes what they are doing, they will get offended and upset because then they feel like it's not about them. So they create chaos. They abuse you in all types of ways in order to get your attention. And then they refuse to play their role. They withhold that from you. And they become so inflexible that no matter what you do, they will show dog determination not to change their attitude and position in spite of good arguments or reasons to do so. 
So it doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter if you give them everything you have and ask them to forgive you. Even if you said it's your fault, they would not move on. They want you to be trapped in a never-ending battle. Because that is the only way that they can relieve their anxiety while not caring about what you are going through. Because then it makes them feel powerful. Some narcissists may not engage in physical or verbal abuse, but instead they will engage in non-verbal harassment, such as staring, getting too close, explicit hand gestures, and non-consensual touching, because then it's more subtle. So it tends to go unnoticed, but it may convey sexual objectification, disrespect, or discomfort because they want your eyes to be on them. They want to feel special, but if they're not getting the attention they're looking for, they will play the victim and act like they're suffering because they just want to drain the life out of the environment so that instead of you experiencing a social gathering or an enjoyable activity, now you're anxious or troubled about potential problems and you're constantly worried about how they're doing and what you might need to do to fix them. But even if you try to enjoy the moment, they will give you evasive replies and act like you have betrayed them because they want you to suffer with them. They have to drain you to replenish themselves by getting you to make everything about them until it changes your perception of vacations and holidays because these become days where they create problems and complain until you're left with nothing but memories of all of the pain that they've inflicted so they leave you with nothing positive that you have experienced or for you to look forward to. You're left with nothing to feel joyful about. It's dull and uninteresting and for no reason at all. Because even in a perfect situation, the narcissist would still find a reason to fight with you. They would still find a fault in something you said or in the way that you were treating them. They will always have some excuse to put you down, to make it seem like you have, you have treated them in an unfair way, by denying that they initiated it, reversing the roles of victim and offender, and then singling you out for punishment, while feeling justified in what they do, and while blaming you and guilt tripping you. Because they want to torture you, they want to make you doubt yourself, until you begin to see yourself as the enemy as though their toxic behaviour is your fault, so that you then feel obligated to fix it. But no matter how much you try to fix it, you will never find a solution, because there cannot be a solution to a problem that you did not create, and it is a problem they do not want to be solved. They lit the fire, and they are adding fuel to the fire, because they do not want to make it better. They want to make it worse because they're still not satisfied. And they never will be satisfied because they're not grateful. So they can never truly be happy. Because rather than viewing criticisms or disappointments as an opportunity for growth, they feel weak and helpless because they lack resilience. They're unable to successfully adapt to difficult or challenging life experiences because they've given up hope and they do not reflect on their shortcomings. They do not gain insight into their own character through the experience. So they do not grow spiritually. They don't see the good in what other people do because they have an inability to regulate their own emotions. So they react with anger and resentment because nothing good that you do could ever penetrate their misery and self-loathing. You will never be enough for them because they're not enough for themselves. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website 
it's narksurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.